Hi guys, welcome to our channel Serium Tech Automation. So today I am going to discuss about the concept called retry logic in Selenium. Okay, what is the concept called retry logic in TestNG? Okay, why we need this retry logic in TestNG with the help of Selenium? Okay, why we need this retry logic in TestNG with the help of Selenium? Because for example, there are 10 test cases which are executing. So out of 10 test cases, three test cases got failed due to some expert related issue or some browser related issue okay out of 10 test cases three test cases got failed due to browser related issue or some expert related issue expert related issue means no such element exception or element not visibility exception or due to some synchronization issue these three test cases got failed okay so for example let us say once if i fix all these three test three test cases so then i am going to execute all our 10 test cases again right so this time it is working fine again the next time when you are executing the same test cases again you are getting those three test cases as fail only so i want to retry on the particular fail test cases again and again okay i want to retry the failure test cases again and again with the count number of limit is is that limit is up to your wish if you want to retry that fail test cases like three times or four times or five times you can mention the count inside your scripting part okay okay i want to retry for the fail test cases as per my count okay as per my count i want to retry the fail test cases okay so for this let me open the eclipse first okay so for that what we have to do so i want to create a retry analyzer class so for that what i am doing here so it will create we will create under generics only which is present under src main folder so inside the generics package i want to create one retry analyzer class right so for that i'm taking i'm creating one class that is called retry analyzer class okay retry analyzer class simply hit enter okay so here just we just now we created one retry analyzer class this retry analyzer class implements this retry analyzer class implements one interface called one interface called this retry analyzer implements one retry analyzer called that is i retry analyzer okay i retry analyzer right I retry analyzer. I retry analyzer is also an interface. If you can see here, I retry analyzer is also an interface to implement to be able to have a chance to retry a failed test. I retry analyzer is also an interface. Why we are using this retry I retry analyzer here? We have to do some retry on that failed test case okay for that reason only we are using this interface that is called i retry analyzer as i said as i said what we are what is what i told earlier so that is up to our wish how many times you want to retry for that failed test cases so for that we have to initialize one int variable called int counter equals to zero initially i am taking that counter value as zero okay so after that i want to initialize one more int variable that is called retry limit okay so retry limit means how many times i want to retry for that fail test case so i am mentioning here three times i want to retry that fail test cases in your case you can mention up to your wish that retry limit value okay in my case i am mentioning here that is s3 only so after that below that we need to create a method called because this is implementing our main class is implementing one retry analyzer so where we can create one more method that is in the format of public boolean okay the return type is boolean boolean of retry retry is a standard method where we have to create okay retry with the help of two parameters the first one is i test result I test result is also an interface which is coming from org test ng okay i test result is also an interface which is coming from org test ng see here this class describes the result of a test means this class describes the result of a test in the form of if the test case got passed it will give you the 
test result as passed if the test case got failed it will give you the result as failed okay with the help of i test result we will describe our result as a pass or fail so i am creating one reference object for that i test result so inside this method we are going to write a logic for inside this method we are going to write a logic for how many times we need to retry this one okay how many times we have to retry the failed test cases for that if what is our count here if counter if counter is less than retry limit if counter is less than retry limit if counter is less than retry limit i want to increase that counter value i want to increase that counter plus plus okay counter plus plus once it is done i want to return true once this counter value got incremented so then i want to return that test as true okay return the status of test as true okay so once that is done if the count value increases like for example here the count value reached up to the retry limit 3 okay 3 again it comes to if block so there again it will incremental by 1 counter plus plus means 3 plus 1 4 if the 0 is less than 4 right 0 is less than 4 then I want to my my retry limit got increased here till 4 okay that is not matching with our actual retry limit so that's why I want to return false okay so I am trying here the retrying here I am retrying here for the three times only once that retry limit got exceeded i want to come outside of this if block okay i want to come outside of this if block okay so that is all about this retry analyzer class we, we just initialized one counter variable and how many times you want to retry for that particular limit and also we are creating a simple method where we can perform that retry logic with the help of counter variable by incrementing plus one okay so this is all about retry analyzer once this retry analyzer is done so we need to create one more class that is called test transformer in my case i mentioned it as test transformer okay in my case i mentioned this as test transformer so for that i have to create one more class so where we can tell to that retry analyzer this is my class you can perform this retry limit on that particular class so for that we have to create one more class that is called test transformer okay from here only we are transforming that into some limit okay retry limit so here i mentioned test transformer that is finished okay what this test transformer is is doing here it is also implementing it is also implements okay test transformer implements i annotation test transformer so these are all coming from the test ng listeners concept only okay test ng listeners concept only okay these are all i annotation transformer what is this i annotation transformer here i annotation transformer is also an interface is also an interface where we can transform all our test results into the particular status of that particular execution okay so once this is done we are going to create a method called the method type is return type is void it is not returning anything so the standard method name here is the transform okay public void transform i mentioned this method as public void transform right so for this public void transform we have to pass some parameters these parameters must and should you have to follow the same way only how i am declaring here so otherwise you will get some different kind of errors if we mismatch some uh, case also okay so we are passing these parameters as i test annotation i test annotation is also an interface along with some object annotation okay annotation along with that annotation along with that we have to define a class we have to define a class class the class references test class i am taking here okay test class i am using here okay 
we need to mention that class name as well after that we are doing some constructor as well we are using some constructor also see these i will tell you constructor i am giving this constructor reference name as test constructor what is that test constructor once that is done i want to mention one more parameter that is called method which is coming from reflect api so i am using here reflect apis only the methods and the constructor and the class as well okay so i am using java reflect apis only then the method name is test method okay so that is done so once it is done we have to take this i test annotation okay i test annotation reference annotation dot once if you hit dot we have some set retry analyzer method is there set retry analyzer method is a set retry analyzer what is our class name here what is our class name here that is retry analyzer dot class right this is our class okay dot class okay this is all about test transformer what does this test transform is doing it is accepting the follow parameters you have you need you also need to mention in the same way if you missed out anything like uh, lower case or upper case you will get definitely some errors okay so here we are passing these all these as parameters the first one is i test annotation this is also an interface and class and the constructor which is importing from java reflection api and the method the test method name okay so once that is done with the help of annotation with the help of annotation i test annotation interface i am using this set retry analyzer okay i am using this set retry analyzer so once it is done our main part is done okay so now what we have to do here we want to call this test transformer inside our testng.xml file okay first what we did here we write some logic for retry analyzer means how many times you want to retry for that failure test cases we mentioned that logic here simply in two lines only so after that we are telling we are telling this retry analyzer into this test transformer okay this test transformer implements the interface called i annotation transformer inside this class we are creating a method the return type of void okay it is not returning anything if we are using void so once that is done we are passing these as parameters the first one is i test annotation it is also an interface the second one is class and the third one is constructor and the fourth one is method okay with the help of all these parameters we are going to set that retry analyzer with the help of retry analyzer dot class okay once it is done so we can achieve this in two stages the first stage is at test level only and the second stage is we can achieve this at suit level as well okay for example you can see this class retry execution you can see this retry execution okay we can achieve that retry means for example i want to uh, like for example there is a test case which is failing okay this method is failing right the second method priority equals to one this method is failing so we can use retry analyzer directly here also means at test level or else there is one more approach that is i we can set at suit level means at class level also we can use this retry logic and also at method level also we can use that retry logic okay if we are using at test level i mean at method level we have to define that one line of code for each and every method okay after mentioning each and every method after mentioning each and every method it is like uh, there is some duplicacy code if we mention for each and every method so instead of that we can declare at once so that it will applicable for all the methods suppose uh, if any test case got failed if it will go directly to that particular top of the line then it will 
retry for that particular fail test case only okay so for that how we can perform that one with the help of listeners you can see here so i already mentioned here that is listeners listeners class name equals to generics dot test transformer okay generics dot test transformer so here you can see where is our test transformer got located our test transformer got located at test transformer generics package okay test transformer class got located at generics package so the same i mentioned here also if we do like this it will applicable for all the methods present inside our test transformer i mean a present inside our class that is retry execution okay let me change this facebook login to retry execution okay our class name is retry execution our class name is retry execution so we can achieve this retry logic at method level and also at class level okay why we are not using here the method level means suppose if you are using the method level you have to define that uh, this line retry I mean test transfer what we are mentioning here so we need to define this line for each and every method so likewise if you have thousand methods inside a test case it is very difficult to go and put for each and every method okay instead of that we can directly mention inside our testng.xml file with the help of listeners concept okay so here i already mentioned listeners listener class name equals to generics dot test transformer and uh, this is our class name here okay data execution so let's uh, go back to our data execution so here you can see there are three test cases we have okay there are three test cases we have the first one is sorry orange hrm login okay orange hrm login right orange hrm login okay uh, once uh, orange hrm login is one method the second method is taking the log out and the third method is validating the title right there are three methods and for now i am failing this method like title validation okay here actual title and expected title title i, I am doing wantedly i am failing that this method okay wantedly i am failing this method right so let us see how many times it will retry we mentioned it to retry for three times okay so let me execute and we'll see how many times it will retry so this is very very important concept and useful concept at a time okay so now it's launching it launched the edge browser okay it got launched edge browser then it is waiting for that url okay so here it is it got passed that url inside that address bar once that is done it got maximized and entering the username and password and after that clicking on login it got clicked on login once it is done it will log out from that user right okay okay it got failed here maybe it is not clicking here see here retry six right retry six means it got retried each i mean two methods are failing here for example orange hrm login got passed right orange hrm login got passed and title validation got failed okay and here also no such element exception welcome ponam it is not matching with our actual text okay so let me inspect this one more time why it is retrying for six time means there are three methods okay there are three methods inside our main class so it got passed here and the second method is doing logout okay it is not able to find this logout i mean welcome ponam okay welcome ponam is not able to know such element exception you got again it is retrying here likewise it is retrying here on this particular method three times once this is done it will go to the next method here also we got failure because the actual title is orange hrm 
but we passed expected title as space we provided so that's why again it is retrying for three times here so that's why in the console you can see here it got retried for six times means three times for one method and three times for the other method you can see okay welcome ponam welcome ponam and welcome ponam here also okay welcome ponam welcome ponam welcome ponam right three times it got searched for that one the total retries are how many six retries okay so let me quickly go through that application let me inspect it let me open dev tools to inspect that web element for ponam let me toggle this to bottom okay welcome paul okay now we change it to paul yesterday it is ponam welcome paul right p a u l p a u l okay well all control c welcome paul so we can we will just modify the text path and we'll see p a u l right p a u l this time you will get only three only because now we pass the correct text path this method will pass definitely where it will fail it will fail at title validation because the actual title and expected title both are different right so on this particular method it will retry for three times okay so let me re-execute this one more time and we'll see how many retries you will get okay so likewise uh, we can perform this retry logic in our test ng with selenium okay so it is it got launched the browser and it entered the url it is entering the username and password and clicking on the login so once that is login it will click on that account okay welcome rahul oh so now again it got changed now welcome rahul means it is dynamically changing the x path okay so again you will get the same retrace six only so let me modify this x path here so we will take that uh, link okay not uh, text we'll take that link only so let me do open dev tools let me toggle this to bottom okay let me inspect this element again okay okay href okay id we can take id here okay Control F, Control V. A. At the rate ID equals to. Well, come. Okay, right. Okay, now it will work. Now it will work. Let me change this X path. Okay right okay let me execute it one more time this time it will click on that account button then it will do logout after that it will go for the title validation so where it will fail definitely so for that fail test case it will retry for three times okay three times it will retry then only it will give us failure first time it will try and it will give you failure second time it will try it will fail you third time it will try and it will fail you okay it clicked on welcome Rahul why logout I clicked on logout you can see so now it got passed and retries three so because the title validation got failed here what is the expected orange HRM what we found there orange HRM okay three times it got failed now so what will happen if we increase the count value okay what will happen if we increase the count value for example i want to retry five times i want to retry the same for five times okay so i want to retry for five times you will see it is a very very important concept in test ng okay so please please uh, do focus on this concept it will helpful for you at any time so in interviews also interviewer will ask you like uh, how you can 
implement a logic called retry logic with the help of test ng so then you can tell him with the help of this example so there are some test cases which are failing out of five there are failing two test cases i want to retry uh, those two failed test cases these many times for this i am using okay for this i am using okay see here it retried for five times you can see that retries got five we increased that count also every time it is telling these two are not matching okay so let me quickly change the title to the expected value and actual value both are matching in this time so what you will get we'll see okay orange hrm control s so now let me execute guys please please do like and subscribe guys if you are new to here so that it will helpful for me to do a lot more videos related to testing part so at the same time please uh, share these concepts to your friends or colleagues so that our video will visible to more people okay so now it clicked on that welcome rahul and clicking on logout once that is done it will verify the title right so now you can see here it's got completed means pass and fail okay there are no failed test cases as we changed just now that to actual and expected both are matching so that's why you are not getting any failure here okay so that count value you can increase up to your wish how many times you want to retry it's based upon your time limit so this is a, a very very important interview question and the same time we can use this at your real time experience and real time projects as well it will uh, helpful a lot for you guys if you try this one inside your script so i hope all uh, understand i mean uh, i hope everyone uh, will watch this video till the end okay so that it will helpful for me to do more videos related to testing part so please uh, please do share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like okay so thanks guys thank you so much we will meet with our next video until then take care stay home stay safe